Uh, hello everyone, this is Neurotix aka Nero. I'm doing another tutorial for ExtremeHardware.net. What we're going to be doing today is probably something that 99% of the users of the site already know how to do. However, if someone is a complete noob to building PCs and maybe has a laptop they're working with or something and they've just built a gaming computer, they might be wondering how to get an OS on it. So today I'm going to show you how to create a bootable flash stick using some programs. And uh, we'll get right into this. So what you're going to need is a flash stick. Uh, I use SanDisk, uh, SanDisk Cruiser Glide and uh, various others. Um, for Even for Windows 11 or Linux Mint, uh, you could use an 8 gigabyte flash stick and get away with it. It'll be large enough. If you have a larger capacity one, that'll, that's fine too. So anyway, we're going to get into Firefox and we're going to go Google Rufus. And the first thing that comes up is Rufus.ie and you can use Rufus to make bootable flash sticks. So we're going to go back uh, and we're going to go to downloads and we're going to download uh, Rufus. Okay, so we got that. Um, and now the other thing is if you put in Windows ISO, you're going to need an ISO. Um, if you download the Windows 10 disk image, uh, it's kind of hard to get to on their site. So uh, it'll give you the uh, installer for the um, uh, media installer tool, not um, an actual uh, ISO. So um, if you go to download Windows 11, however, uh, download Windows 11 disk image ISO for x64 devices there and you click download and you can get your uh, Windows 11 disk image to use. However, today we're going to be using and making a flash drive for Linux Mint. And for Linux, the reason we're using Linux Mint is that it is very easy to transition to from Windows uh, it has a feature called time shift which is like system restore if you wreck it really badly and it's not bootable you can uh, boot into a recovery environment and basically uh, load a restore point so you go to download there's a couple things that show up there's a cinnamon edition XFCE edition, Mate edition. These are all different window managers. Uh, what we're going to get is Cinnamon edition. As you can see from the screenshot, uh, it has a start menu that's very similar to a Windows start menu. Then it also um, has icons for programs that are open that show up in the bottom left of the uh, taskbar, just like in Windows, just like I am uh, can do right now with um, like that. So I already downloaded when Linux Mint Cinnamon so we're gonna get right to going to Rufus opening it and no we don't want to check for updates. Now um, I already have the image set but what we're gonna do is select it um, Linux Mint 22. Um, by default, when you do it, it's going to say Partition Scheme MBR. We don't want to use that. We're not using Master Boot Record anymore. The Partition Scheme that's modern is GPT. And then Target System UFI Non CSM. That means that uh, CSM is basically allows you to use older hard drives or devices. It needs to be disabled in the BIOS. But optimally, with a modern gaming PC, you want uh, it to be non-CSM. You don't want to have CSM on in your BIOS. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're uh, going to check FAT32 default. This will work. Um, just be sure here that you have your Linux Mint, your your uh, your Linux Mint ISO selected, and that it's selecting uh, E, not like for example. Um, C or D. 
you don't want it to overwrite those so be careful double check that it is actually the correct device as you can see when I hover over it it's mine is a SanDisk Ultra USB device so we're going to click start it brings you a pop-up that just says write in image mode it recommended that's fine it gives you a final warning in case you selected a different drive that you have an OS on or something um, but then we click OK and it's going to start going and it's going to take a while so I am going to cut out and come back later when it's done. Um, hello everyone now our, we're back and our Linux Mint flash stick has been successfully burned by Rufus so it's here and um, uh, it's totally done and should be usable so we're going to go to minimize Rufus for the time being you can close out of it later I have VirtualBox up um, with Windows 10 or Windows 11 uh, if you boot off of the flash stick uh, by going into your BIOS and selecting it uh, it will go to setup if you're using Linux 99% of Linux distributions will allow for booting directly off the flash stick into what they call a live environment so that means that you boot off the flash stick and it will load into Linux uh, and you will have full access to it. it's very useful to have one of these to be able to diagnose problems with disks or with the system itself um, so what we're going to do now is boot into a live environment and as you can see it's giving us options there's even a memory test which is pretty nice um, and uh, we're going to start Linux Mint 22 Cinnamon and so we've made our flash stick and it's going to take a minute to boot but that's basically how you make a flash stick using Rufus and for uh, this will be Linux Mint Cinnamon and um, it's almost ready it's pretty quick there's our cursor and we are successfully in Linux so um, that I think uh, basically at this point you could close out of Rufus you've got your Linux Mint flash stick that you can use to boot off of um, you could do uh, partitioning with it if you need to um, but otherwise I'm thinking the video is uh, pretty good I'm happy with it and I hope that this helps you out if you are new to building PCs uh, thanks and I'm signing off